Today we are going to talk about the 39 alternatives to the breath meditation, the in and out breath meditation, anapanasati. Most people only know about the breath meditation for calming down the mind, but there are actually 40 total objects that we have for calming down the mind. It's called samatha meditation. There are actually two categories of meditation. Calming down the mind, which is samatha meditation, and we have insight meditation, which is called vipassana meditation. You might have heard of these two things. Today we'll talk about the 40 meditation subjects, which means there are 39 other objects of meditation besides the in and out breathing. If you are not successful in breath meditation, this video could be a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Here is a list that we will talk about in further detail. We have the 10 casinas. In most cases, these are the 10 disc objects. And we have the 10 asuba, which is the foulness of the body. We have the 10 anusatis, which are the 10 recollections. We have the four Brahma Viharas, which are the four divine abodes. We have the we have the Eka Sanya, which is one perception, which is the contemplation on the repulsiveness of food. Eka Vavatana, but it's really called the Four Elements Meditation. And lastly, we have the Chatu Arupa Jhanas, which are the Four Immaterial Jhanas. Now we'll go a little bit deeper, and we'll talk a little bit about the details of the different categories of the 40 meditation subjects. We have the ten casinas, which are also called discs, and they can be one hand span by four fingers in diameter, and they are meditation objects. So when I say casina, they are the same thing as discs. And so we have the Patawi casina, which is the earth casina. We have the Apo casina, which is the water casina. We have the Tejo casina, which is the fire casina. We have the Wayo casina, which is the wind casina. This one is not a disc, actually. We have the Nila Casina, which is the blue or brown casina. We have the Pita Casina, which is the yellow casina. We have the Lohita Casina, which is the red casina. We have the Odata Casina, which is the white casina. We have the Akasa Casina, which is the space casina. And lastly, we have the Aloka Casina, which is the light casina. To practice this, you make a disc. It's one hand span by four fingers as the diameter. It can be bigger, it can be smaller, but that is the recommended size. You focus on the disc or circle and you try to see that object with the eyes closed. It is important to see the object with the mind. The mind is not in the brain, the mind is in the heart center. And you want to see this with the power of your mind, not through the power of your eyes while they're closed. You bring up this image with the power of memory and recalling the word that represents this meditation sign over and over again. It is common to have objects brought up by the, by the word. It is recited over and over again, and many people don't count or label the breath, and this is a big problem for concentration. If you're not successful in in and out breathing, then maybe this is one of the reasons why, because you're not reciting the word. We have the ten foulness of the body, which is done in a cemetery on dead bodies where they don't bury the bodies and they, they deteriorate naturally according to nature. And so I'm going to go through the list. We have the Udumataka which is a bloated, dead body. We have the Vinilika, which is a swollen, blue, dead body. We have the Vipubika, which is a dead body that is festered and oozes with pus. We have the Vichidika, which is a dead body which is split and cut into two pieces. Such dead bodies can be seen in ancient battlefields. We have the Vikayitika, which is a dead body which various places are eaten by animals like dogs or foxes. We have the Wikitika, which is a dead body that has been ripped off by animals <laughs> such as dogs and foxes, and which, are, which the pieces are spread around and scattered. 
We have the Hatha Vikitika, which is a dead body that is damaged in the shape of a crow's foot, and it has been broken into pieces and is spread out as well. We have the Lohitika, which is the bleeding dead body. We have the Pulavaka, which is the dead body infested with worms. And we have the Attika, which is a collection of bones with no blood or flesh. These are the ten cemetery contemplations of the foulness of the body and how it deteriorates. And one goes to a cemetery where they don't bury the bodies. On screen, and while I was giving the list, you might have seen one of the, one of the famous pictures, and as well as one of, the, one of the pictures that I asked one of my friends, who is an artist, to make. It's not yet finished. Such places don't really exist anymore. But there was a documentary called The Body Farm. I'll give a link to that after the video. We can also go to autopsies, which are good for another type of meditation with seeing all the different body parts. And I'll, we'll talk about that in a moment, and I'll give a link for that as well. We have the ten anusities, or the ten recollections. We have the Buddha Anusati, which is the recollection of the Buddha's qualities. We have the Dhamma Anusati, which is the recollection of the qualities of the Dhamma. We have the Sangha Anusati, which is the recollection of the qualities of the Sangha. We have Sila Anusati, which is the recollection of one's own Sila, morality, and the quality of being virtuous. And we have the Chaga Anusati, which is the recollection of one's own ability to donate. Chaga means to donate. We have Devata Anusati, which is the recollection of one's own qualities, such as Sadda, Sila, and Sutta, and keeping the deities as the witness. We have Upasama Anusati, which is the recollections of the virtues of Nibbana, which is the cessation of all forms of suffering. We have the Marana Anusati, which is the recollection of death. And we have the Kayagata Sati, which is the recollection of the body parts, such as kesa, loma, naka, danta, tacho, mamsam, naharu, ati, ati, minjam, wahakam, and, and going through the whole organs of the body. As I said before, autopsies is good for this type of contemplation. And lastly, the last, the last of the anusities is the anapanasati, it's the recollection of the in and out breathing. We're not done, we have the four apamanyas, which are metta, karuna, murita, and upekā. This is loving-kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and upekā. This is equanimity. We have ekasanya, which is the perception of the repulsiveness of food. And uh, we can contemplate that in various ways. This is also called ahara patikula sanya. And then we have the ekavavatana, or looking at the four great elements, such as patavi, apo, tejo, and wayo, earth, water, fire, and air, and seeing these four elements in the body. And lastly, we have the four arupajanas, the akasananchayatana, which is the base of infinite space. We have the vinyananchayatana, which is the base of infinite consciousness. We have the akinchanyayatana, which is the base of nothingness. And we have the neva sanya, na sanya yatana, the base of neither perception nor non perception. Now we have listed the 40 meditation objects, and now you might be asking yourself, which meditation object is good for me? So we have what we call the six charitas or the temperaments, and we're going to go over the six categories, which might be useful for you to label what your temperament is and then try to find an object that might be most suitable for you. We have the raga charita, which is a lustful or greedy temperament. We have the dosa charita, which is the hateful or angry temperament. We have the moha charita, which is the deluded or ignorant temperament. We have the sadha charita, which is the faithful or the devotional temperament. We have the buddhi charita, which is for the intelligent or wise temperament. And lastly, we have the vitaka charita, which is the temperament of one who thinks and analyzes a lot. We have objects that fit all of the temperaments. This would be the four element casinas, like the patavi casina, the apo casina, the tejo casina, and the wayo casina. We have the space casina, 
This is the Akasa Casino. And we have the four Arupajanas. And these Arupajanas, if you're just beginning, you, you can't practice these until you have the other casinos first. We have the Raga Charita, which is for the lustful and the greedy temperament. If you're one of these, you can practice. Also, the ten objects of foulness meditation are also good for Raga Charita, the lustful types. And the Kaya is also useful for the Raga type. So if you have a lot of lust, then these objects would be good and suitable for you. We have the Sadda Charita, and this is for the faithful and the devotional temperaments. These would be in the recollection meditations, such as Buddha Anusati, Dhamma Anusati, and Sangha Anusati, Sila Anusati, Chaga Anusati, and Devata Anusati. These are the six recollections that are recommended for those who are faithful. And I can bring to mind a couple of people who are very faithful, and uh, these uh, meditation objects would be most suitable for them. These are monks, obviously, who are very devoted. We have the Buddhi Charita, which is for the intelligent or the wise temperaments. We have the Upasama Nusati, which is the recollection of peace or Nibbana. We have the Marna Nusati, which is the recollection of death. We have the Ahara Patikula Sanya, which is the perception of the repulsiveness of food. And then we have the Chatu Dhatu Vavatana, which is the four elements meditation internally to the body. And we have the Moha Charita and the Vitaka Charita, which is for the deluded and the ignorant temperament. There's one who is speculates a lot and who has analyzing a lot, and they have a lot of thoughts. And this is for the Anapanasati uh, meditation object. So if you're one of those people who cannot control their mind, and a lot of people cannot, and that's why Anapana is recommended the meditation on the breath, mindfulness of breathing, in and out breathing. This is why it's recommended all the time. And the dosa, the dosa charita, which are the people who are angry and hateful, we give them the divine abidings. These are metta, karuna, murita, and upekka. This is loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. These are the four Brahma Viharas. It's the color casinas, like the blue casino, the yellow casino, the red casino, or the white casino. And so now we've covered the 40 objects, and we've covered the 39 alternative objects to the in and out breathing, mindfulness of breathing. We covered the 10 casino, or the 10 disc objects. We have the 10 asuba, which is the foulness of the body. We have the 10 anusatis which are the ten recollections. We have the four Brahma Viharas, which are the four divine abodes. We have the Eka Sanya, which is one perception, which is the contemplation of the repulsiveness of food. We have the Eka Vivatana, or what we call the four elements internally to the body. And we have the Chatu Arupa Jhanas, which are the four immaterial Jhanas. We also learned about the temperaments and the recommended objects for people with those temperaments. If something is of interest to you, please explore this with a teacher. The Pa'ak and its descending teachers are the only schools that teach all 40 objects as part of a Samatha meditation course. And so it's very important that you work with a teacher, a teacher who's qualified to teach you these and discuss your meditation with such a teacher. What type of object do you think is most suitable for you? Well, if you work on the pottery wheel, then maybe Earth Casino would be most suitable for you. If you scuba dive, then maybe the water casino might be suitable for you. If you're a doctor, you might like the body parts. Or if you're a sailor or you like to fly kites, you might like the air casino, the wind casino. And so there are many different objects for different types of people. You might like Buddha Anusati, Dhamma Anusati, or Sangha Anusati if you're one of the Sadda Charitas. And if you're one who gives lots of donations, then you might like to reflect on your Chaga or your Dana capability, your Dana qualities. So there are many objects that one can choose and 
you can try a different object after a month or two and see if that object works. And you can talk with your teacher and you can try to select an object. You don't need to have the same object for multiple years if you're not successful. If you're not successful, you should try to switch an object after one or two months if you're not making any progress. Then maybe some, with some practice, you'll get success. Once you're successful in one object, then the other objects become very easy. So this is uh, very important for you to know and to discuss with your teacher. So let me know in the comments what your object is that you've been trying to do, what object you have been successful in, what object you would like to try based on this video, and what your temperament is. So now you have listened to this video until the end. That's a good sign. That's very good. You have a good attention span, maybe one that's good for meditation. If you are interested in some of the other videos, I have a lot of other videos. They're a little longer in format. And if you want to help spread the videos, you can do all the stuff that's good for the algorithm, like liking, subscribing, and sharing, etc. So I hope that you can use this video to develop your samatha meditation concentration. This is for calming down the mind and to create a calm mind and to use this mind to see mind and matter and its causes. So you can take that mind and matter and its causes and see that it's impermanent suffering and non-self. And may you go beyond that and to reach Nibbana Supreme. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.